two computer players. Player one, what's your name? Hi, Ben at 1287 back again, along with Mikey and Eugene. Who is still shot in his ass? <laughs> and right now, we're going to do our fourth game one of Jeopardy 98. 98. This is not the PC. Jeopardy first edition for the PS Uno. Whoops! You might know out the three games we are now at 18,800. So let's see how well we do on first edition. Hi, everyone, and welcome to our game. Thank you. Let's see if you like these categories. U.S. cities. The insect world. Fashion history. Famous couples. Literary potpourri, A plus, A in quotation marks. Can we know that? Player one, start us off. U.S. cities for one. The cities of Highland Park and Hamtramck are surrounded by this Michigan city. What Player is one? Detroit? Right you are. All right, pick again. U.S. cities for two. This Midwest city is home based to Cardinals, Rams, and Clydesdales. What is St. Louis? Cedric the Entertainer. Exactly. All right, pick again. U.S. cities for three. Nevada's largest city, it grew from a population of 8,500 in 1940 to 258,000 in 1990. What is Las Vegas? Right you are. Alright, pick again. USA is for four. Hamar, Norway is a sister city of this largest North Dakota city. What is Fargo? That's it. All right, pick again. Finish it up for 500. Edward Chemist designed the bronze lions guarding the main entrance to the art institute of this Midwest city. One. What is Chicago? Yes. All right, pick again. Famous couples won. Julie Nixon married him December 22, 1968, a month before her father's presidential inauguration. Player one. Julie Nixon, who is Tricky Dick, who is Richard Nixon. That's wrong. Oh, it's not. Anyone? No, it's a Nixon. It's... Oh, it's right there. Ava Dyson Howard II. Alright, pick again. Uh... That's okay, we still got a huge lead. Uh, 200 for famous couples. Fire Over England, Vivian Lee's first film with this future husband, ignited their romance. 
Player three. Hasn't he Quail? No. There's a lot of game left, so hang in there. Player one. Who is Clock Gable? No, too bad. Anybody? Lawrence Olivier. All right, pick again. Three hundred. Answer. <laughs> Two hundred. Finance consultant Richard Ney was once married to this actress who played his mother in Mrs. Miniver. Player one. Who is who? G R E E R. Hi. G A R S O N. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Fun, man. Sir Alexander Corda married this protege in 1939, the same year she starred in Wuthering Heights. Player three. Molly O'Brien. That's it. Player three, what did it do? How the whole. The insect wolf one. In some female insects, the ovipositor made to deposit these may also be used as a stinger. What's a bee? One. Eggs. That's it, exactly. Oh, deposit these. Player two. Eggs. Insect roll for two. The coddling type of this insect is known for destroying fruits, not clothes. Player one. Well, it's moth. Oops. Oh, what is moths? Yes. Okay, contestant one. Uh. Insect row for three. The brown banded type of this kitchen pest is one of the most common. Player two. Cockroach? Yes, indeed. Ah. Player two. Your turn. That would be my next guess. This no, royal food guess. that queen bees eat forms inside glands in the heads of worker bees. Royal food? Honey? Bee milk. Player two? Finish it up for five. True flies belong to the order Diptera, whose name is from the Greek for two of these body parts. I said the three. Wings. To be sure. That takes you into second place. Player three, what'll it be? A plus for one. Some biologists classify the blue-green types of these simple organisms as bacteria. Player one? What algaes? Blue green type one amoeba? That is incorrect. Anybody? Here is L G A E not E A. Player three? I was right there. 
Oh, fascinating one. This ancient Roman garment developed from the tabena, a cloak worn by those darn Etruscan. Where one? That's a toga. Correct. Player one, your turn. Famous, uh, fam uh, famous couples for five. This British actor was Elizabeth Taylor's second husband and Margaret Layton's third husband. Player two. Michael Railing. That's correct. Player two. As he had done, his Frederick Henry in A Farewell to Arms worked in the ambulance service in World War I. Player three. Ernest Hemingway? That's correct. Ah, oh, that's... Player three, it's your turn. That's mine. Later we pop away for two. Cameroonian novelist Mongo Betty writes in this European I language, an official language of Cameroon. Player three. French? That's correct. That takes you into second place. All right, pick again. Literally properly for three. This giant novelist wrote a series of stories about traveling petticoat sales lady Emma McChesney. Player two. Edna Ferber. That's it, exactly. Player two. Fashion history two. The couturier Balenciaga moved to Paris in 1937 after civil war broke out in this, his native country. Player three. Spain. To be sure. What will it be, player three? This is going to be a close match. Larry Popoli for four. Nora Ephron wrote the searing novel Heartburn after her divorce from this Washington Post reporter. Player three. Carl Bernstein. That's it. All right, pick again. Now it's got the lead. Finish it up. The ghoulish poem, Eulaloom, is his only important work of 1847, the year his child bride died. Here is the correct response. Edgar Allan Poe! All right, pick again. Fast in history for a three. Makers were named for this fictional character created by Washington Irving. Player two. Dietrich. Yes. Nick Barker. Your choice, player two. Tie for second. A plus for two. It precedes male, sick, and mattress. Player one. What is air? That's correct. ML, L C. Player one, your turn. And mattress. A plus for three. <laughs> A city in southeast Texas, or a famous chipmunk. Player one. What is Alvin? Yes, indeed. <laughs> That's right, my best day of person. Thank you. It's an automaton that resembles a human being. An android. Two. That is incorrect. This is a difficult board. No, it's not. Player one. What? I said it was an android. Yes. Yes. All right, pick again. Finish it up for five. The left-handed dictionary defines this as a man you can shut up by closing a book. Player two. Author. That's it, exactly. Your choice, player two. Tie for second, Fast in History 4. Born in 1778, this ultimate English dandy wore elegantly tailored clothes with elaborate cravats. Player two. Bell Blummer? Blumel? Blumel? That takes you into second Bob place. Blumel. And to finish the board. Oh my gosh. This fashionable empress, the wife of Napoleon III, was nicknamed the Queen of the Crinoline. Player three. Eugenie? That's it, exactly. 
Well, that brings us to the end of the first round. Let's look at the total score so 2400 to 2000 to 2100. A close match in the Jeopardy round. But only double Jeopardy could tell the tale. Alright, it's time for double Jeopardy. <laughs> Now the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. Awesome Odds and ends. ends. Baseball, Baseball Hall of Famers. Hall of Famers. Composers. Right. Ancient, Egypt. Ancient Egypt. Celebrities. Celebrities. Around the world. Baseball Player Hall two, of Famers. First. Hmm, that's going to be a good one. Awesome and ends for two. In heraldry, a wyvern is one of these mythical beasts depicted with two legs, wings, and a barbed tail. Oh. In Hairdry, a raven is these meant to copy two legs, wings, and a bob tail. Uh. Okay, guess what? It's Pegasus. Wrong. Oh, dragon. All right, contestant two. Ancient Egypt for two. An essential feature of this embalming process was desiccation by means of dry natron. Player three. Mummification. Yes, indeed. What will it be, player three? Ancient Egypt for four. The Egyptians called their land Kemet, the black land from the mud left by this river's inundation. Uh, I guess denial. You are correct. Shut the one in. All right, pick again. I just got the lead. This famous queen was replaced by her daughter as Akhenaten's principal wife. Player one. Who? Who is Cleopatra? Good guess, but no. Anyone? Queen Nefertiti. All right, pick again. Oh my gosh. Hieroglyphics were Greek to scholars until the 1799 discovery supplied Greek equivalents. Anybody? Oh, the Rosetta Stone. I didn't right, thought about again. that. The Pyramid of Menkari was the last of the major three built at this site, southwest of modern Cairo. Player three. Luxor? No. Wow. Giza. It's a Giza Pyramid. All right, pick again. Around the wall for two. The name of these South American mountains may be derived from Ante, a Quechuan word for East. Oh, um... Uh, Player three. The Andes. That's correct. <sighs> All right, pick I again. was thinking of that. 400. Women of India often drape the end of this wrapped garment over their heads. Uh, Player three. Glory. Till I... Yes. All right, pick again. Come on, celebrities. Nope, I want to roll for sex. Almost all Bedouins in the Middle East speak this language. In Arabic? Yes, indeed. All right, pick again. I want to roll for a... This grain is Laos' chief agricultural product. Wise. Correct. Oh, it was too late, and I just said it. Baseball Hall of Famers for two. Quick as you can say his name, in 1962, he was the first black player inducted. Player one. Who is Jackie Robinson? To be sure. Yes! 
Alright, player one. Woo. Okay. Uh, change of thought about this one. Celebrities for two. On March 20, 1969, he married Yoko Ono in the registrar's office in Gibraltar. Player one? Yep. Who is John Lennon? March 20th, 1969. That's right. Celebrities for four. This murder she wrote star. Oh, the voice I know of her. Potts, the teapot. I watched murder she wrote. Who is Angela Lansbury? That's it, exactly. All right, pick again. Six. While considered an Australian, this legal oh, man was actually born in Peekskill, New York. Who Anyone? is Mel Gibson? That's it. All right, pick again. So I for eight. She left husband Ludlow Smith after two weeks. Her love affair with Spencer Tracy lasted 27 years. Player one? Spencer Tracy, who is Kathleen? Correct. All right, pick again. Finish up for grand. Country music star Christina Simonella Judd goes by this first name. Player one. What? It, what is Wyona? Oh, W-I-N-O-N-A. Correct. All right, pick again. Uh, Baseball Hall of Famous for four. Willie Mays was the Say Hey Kid. He was Stan the Man. Stan... Oh, Johnny Stanley. That is incorrect. Who? Anyone? Musal. Exactly. Oh, it's just Musal. All right, again. All right. Baseball Hall of Famous Six. He played in 2,130 consecutive games. No wonder he was the pride of the Yankees. Player two? <sighs> Luke Eric. Yes. Yeah, because he died of... It's your turn, Player two. Um... ALS. His maple leaf rag, the most famous instrumental rag, was composed in 1899. Player three. Joplin? You are correct. Oh, Scott Joplin. All right, player three. I thought it was Mozart. It's going to finish around the world. Queen's University, one of the two universities in Northern Ireland, is in this capital city. Player one. Uh, what is Dublin? No, too bad. Not what I had in mind. Belfast! Your choice, player three. Well, I still got that lead. Composers for four. This composer of the Four Seasons wrote 46 <sighs> operas, but only 21 of the scores survived. Player one? Who is what? Oh, for 40? That's it. That's the one. Player one, your turn. Baseball Hall of Famous for eight. 
Baseball's batting leader for the 1940s and 50s. It's not Babe Ruth. Number three. It's Ted Williams. Correct. He played for the Your Boston choice, Red three. Sox. Composers for six. This Carmen composer completed Noe, an opera left unfinished by his father-in-law. Anybody? Here is the George is that. Player three. George is be that. Composers for A. The answer is a one to two. Billy Double. Player three. Your wager, please. Your wager, 2300. This creation composer's last 12 symphonies, numbers 93 to 104, are known as the London Symphonies. Take a look at your monitor. Won't sound. Player three. Friends? Yes. Oh, it's hiding. All right, what? In 1809, Princes Kinski and Lobkowitz and Archduke Rudolf guaranteed him an income if he had remained in Vienna. I would guess Mozart. No, it's Beethoven. To be sure. All right, pick again. Baseball Hall of Fame is for a thousand. This Detroit Tiger played 2,488 games in right field. Player two. Alkaline. Yes. All right, contestant two. Austin ends for four. Final daily double. Player two, your major please. I was going to bat max at all. Kellogg introduced these toaster pastries in 1964. Player two. Toast us, Trudeau? No. Too bad. Pop tart. It was pop, yeah, pop tarts. All right, pick again. Mercury and aneroid are the two main types of this instrument used to measure air pressure. Player two. Bolometer. Exactly. All right, pick again. Austin has the. It was the sacred relic sought and found by Sir Galahad. Player three. The holy. That's it. Grail. Exactly. And to finish the board. The fish called Dolly Varden Trout was named for a character in this author's Barnaby Rudge. Player three. Q. Correct. Son of a gun, it was Charles it's the end of Double Jeopardy. Let's take a look at the scores. Oh, player three has really jumped to 9,000 with 4,600, and player two with 600. I got a feeling this is all gonna bat mash. We're we'll batting the entire ball. All depends on final Jeopardy category. Now here's our final Jeopardy category. Awards. Bat it all. Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. Whoops. Player three, that we have your all. wager, please. That all. Here we all go. Right, here's the answer. Good luck. 1993, this North American country resonated the Victoria Cross as its highest military honor. Victoria, North American country. What is Canada? Let's see how everyone is. 46, 46. 9200. Oh, sorry. That's it's not Mexico. That's I know it. It's Canada. Oh, I guess it's just not your day. It's going to be Canada. Player one, your question? Very good. Yes. Now, what was your wager? All. You're in the lead. 
Get it wrong. Player three, your question? Oh, we won! Let's see how much it cost you. Oh my gosh. Sometimes you get a tough one. 9200. What a match. Congratulations, player one. You're the Jeopardy champion. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody. Bye, Alex. 28,000 even. For four games, $28,000. Here are the high scores for all... Wow. So what are you going to do? Okay, set the game up exactly... Well, that's it for Jeopardy. That's one of these days, I'm hoping I don't have to make another goof up. I did. Look in the chat box. What would you put? <laughs> I made a new country. <laughs> Canada. 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 Oh, Canada! <laughs> so, I'm supposed to put Canada, not Canada. What the hell is Canada? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, Lordy, I like to think my Skycast will be a part of the end hopper now. We'd like to thank you for watching Jeopardy! First edition. See you all in the next video.